I want every white person in this room who would be happy to be treated as this society in general treats our citizens, our black citizens. If you, as a white person, would be happy to receive the same treatment that our black citizens do in this society, please stand. You didn't understand the directions. If you white folks want to be treated the way blacks are in this society, stand. Nobody's standing here. That says very plainly that you know what's happening. You know you don't want it for you. I want to know why you're so willing to accept it or to allow it to happen for others. That's the most profound thing that you can ask a white person. And since we have a room full of them that didn't stand up, that's why when you say derogatory and hateful things to me towards black people or whatever, I dismiss you. I dismiss you as an evil, demonic person. I mean, I really do. That's just me. Because, see, I can't sit back and see somebody mistreat you as a human being and a member of the human family and be okay with that. I don't care who you were, even if you're black, I mean, if you're white, I wouldn't be okay with that. But the sad part about it is white folks won't admit it. They want you to be so stupid that think that when you even bring up the word race and there's a race problem, oh, you're over-exaggerating, oh, let it go. Oh, it's not as bad as it used to be. Um, none of these things they ever say to the Jewish community, by the way. Oh, get over it. There is no racism. I don't see color. Oh, God, what's another one? All those things that you say just further lets me know. Who's got your heart? And if it's black or red. <laughs> it's, just, it's just that simple. Either your heart is void of humanity or it's not. So when you call, come to my page and call me uh, Afrocentric or talk, what it is is you mad because I'm defending my people. And I'm defending myself, the clan I belong to, like y'all do every day. And when you start saying there is no racism and it never was, and that was a long time ago, as long as the anointed one, the Christ, was painted white and he was sitting up in black churches and y'all was okay with that, but you didn't want black people stepping into your church. See, the hypocrisy was so mind-boggling, it took me further into studying religion and studying who you were on this globe and this thing we call humanity. So you can call me whatever you want. It doesn't faze me and it doesn't bother me. Especially you, um, let me, I'm going to call you out by name because I want you to know, I mean directly to you that would call me racist when you one of these people who try to minimize slavery. And that's why I don't have the time to talk to people that's just, I don't got time for that. It's not, that's not even my job to even try to eradicate racism. You people are who you are. Someone copied my account. Okay. It's so sad. It is insane that here I got a white guy want to argue with me about chattel slavery. 
So what I say to you, someone copied my account again. Answer the question that Jane Elliott, my sister from another mother, and answer that question unhypocritically and truthfully, and then we might can have a conversation. Other than that, I could care less what you think, how you act, do what you do. Do what you do. Because I know no lie can live forever. And I know truth pressed to the earth will rise. So I don't have a problem because I know who I am. Like Kyrie Irving said, I know who I be. I know who I am. You know that Negro that y'all turned, you call yourself trying to turn Toby into? It never worked. Because he knew who he was. I don't care what you called him. You might have called him from Kunta Kinte. You called him Toby. <coughs> but he knew who he was. So, for someone copy my account, put that in your pipe and smoke it. Because I really don't have time for your conversation. You don't really know enough. And with that being said, come on, Cletus. Come on. Leave your comments below.